Yeah, we're not in the club, but we're right next to it. Me and my crew, we are country club adjacent. Country club adjacent. Country club adjacent, baby. Country club adjacent. Country club adjacent, baby. Welcome back to another episode of this week's podcast. Of Country, Country Club, Club adjacent. adjacent. Wow, wow! It, today, today's a day, Mark. Today's a day because uh, we have thrown Jake and Griff off of the podcast. Yep we 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 did a hostile takeover. A hostile takeover. And they are not fucking here, and that means that. Uh, what does that mean? That means that one of them may or may not be in a forced. Ketamine induced coma, Woo! and the other one may or may not be sitting behind the camera with his hands and feet tied behind his back with a gag in his mouth. And that gag may or may not be a two week old scone. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what we do with the platform. I can't wait to see what we do on this week's episode of the podcast as well. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is like we're sitting here before the podcast starts it's like what should we talk about um golf uh golf 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 golf, golf, Wait, I, golf. You, know, you know what i did i, I asked chat gpt what did chat gpt oh my God. say here's what chat gpt said that we should talk about today <laughs> chat gpt said major championships discuss the latest winners memorable moments and project and uh, predictions for upcoming majors Professional golf tours cover updates, highlights from PGA Tour, LPGA Tour, European Tour, and other international golf circuits. They left off live. Um, golf technology, golf course reviews, player profiles, golf fitness and health, golf travel, golf rules and etiquette, amateur golf, and golf news and trends. Dude, that's like so much to talk about. It's too much. And it it's just like, I don't care. No, right? Like We want to talk about golf trends? Like, you want to talk about golf trends? Uh, it's it's trending white <laughs> yeah for trending real. a little white it's a little light-skinned on the trend are are there are there um are there what are there trends that you're starting to see on the golf course that um recently you, you may or may not uh approve of yes um let's see i just played ohio oh i just so i just played ohio on sunday tell you what there were fewer collared shirts than I've seen in in a very long time, and uh, and Ohio is relatively, you know, uppity, uppity. Um, but it it does have that like um, it's kind of like younger. Yeah, it's like younger. Like uh, my mom's thirty three. She wears like that yellow sundress mm -hmm. with that hat she got at a bachelorette party in Austin. Yep, 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 yep. And my yep. dad uh, works for a t shirt company that he helped sell. Uh, in the early 2000s yeah that's totally that's that's accurate and like yeah but i i did notice that i like i like literally was like oh my god there's like less colored shirts than normal so i was like hell yeah oh i, I wonder if that's like is it only to california when you have like real real money because i mean the people that i've played with in ohio have been you know of of the celebrity-esque status mm -hmm. so it's like but then you go out to New Jersey with these with these people that supposedly have money, but everyone has to follow like rules. I, you know, it might just be like things are just casual here. Like people are just more like chill. They just don't give a shit. Like whereas they, I feel like in the Northeast and other parts of the country, people feel very beholden to whatever traditions and whatnot. So I don't know. It might just be like a a, a mentality out here. Well, you know, uh, if untucked. Non-collared shirts is trending on the golf courses in California. I'm going to say we had a little something to do with that. We're doing our jobs. We're doing our jobs. We're doing our jobs. And, like, I don't dislike a collared shirt by any means. Mm -hmm. I know you don't like it at all. I and do not I know like you it. don't like it. I don't dislike it by any means. <clears throat> you know, but I am definitely of the of the variety of like let's come on we can untuck our shirt we're not it's not 1926 you know women aren't covering their ankles so i i'm very much i wish you they know, would I, seriously i mean it's kind of gross but you know that's another conversation for another time um but I, I i don't dislike a collared shirt sometimes they're cool looking even 
Uh, you know what it is about me is my neck. I have a very long, elongated yeah. neck. And and the collared shirt makes it somehow look longer. It makes it look like a fucking giraffe. Yeah, snake. it's like, yo, what is fucking, uh, what is Diplo doing out here? That that's offensive. Why? Is why is that offensive? Does he have a big neck? Dude, that's <laughs> Diplo's the dino, the actual dinosaur that Diplo called himself n- named after. The uh, from <laughs> did you not ever see the? Oh, I don't know what the Land f- Before Time. What is Diplo? Oh my God, Land Before Time. It's like the main character. Did you know that, Alex? Long neck. Diplo? No, I thought that was a DJ. I thought that was a DJ too. Land, come on. Yeah. Oh, but he named it after. He named himself after Diplo from Land Before Time. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, that's Diplo. Oh, no shit. Yeah. DJ, you learned. The world famous DJ Diplo. Right <laughs> I did there. not fucking know that. Yeah. What dinosaur is Skrillex named after? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a fucking velociraptor. Yeah, he does. If that dude is in a dinosaur, uh, you got me fucked up, bro. Skrillex is, uh, yeah, dude, I mean, his, his logo is the claw. So Skrillex like- looks like that one that goes like this. <laughs> With the, the one that uh, spits Park. on what's his name, Randy Newman's face. Or yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> it's so. Funny. What what other trending things are we seeing on the golf course, dude? ChatGPT is fucking phenomenal at doing a golf podcast. Uh, ChatGPT should have its own golf podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, this is so funny. Today's my cousin's birthday, and he just texted me, and he was like, "Are you at Abbott Kenny? Maybe we could have a guest on." Oh, dude, tell Cuz to roll through. Yeah, <laughs> let's see if we get Henry on here for some reason. Tell Cuz to roll through. I am. I'm gonna tell him. To Did Henry through. chop off his hair? By the way, he he undreaded it. He undreaded his hair, and now it's just like curly like mine. Oh, that's key. Yeah, that'd be crazy if I just if he just uh wanna come be on podcast for like ten minutes. Let's see what he says. And then um, should we, uh, what should we do on the podcast today, guys? Should we do like prank call? Should that's we call what, golf that, shops? I don't think that we, I don't think that you should ask them. I think we should tell them that that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay. That sounds sick, dude. I'm I'm actually really excited about this because I haven't done prank phone calls in a very long time. Yeah. And I think it'll be fun just to <laughs> fuck with employees um, and just absolutely you know ask about products that don't exist um so he's going to the sauna here maybe oh, okay. eat after nice nice um all right S- set me up my phone's about to die let okay. me call from you okay. set me up okay i'll go first okay let me uh finish that okay so let's call i know where to call we're gonna call uh Golf shops. Here we go. Um, golf and sports. Uh, oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Should I give Thank him? The, should I give him the disclaimer? No. Oh, Mark, put it right up next to the microphone. Yeah, you can hear it. You're good. Kind of. <laughs> Where's the customer service? Where is the customer? Is it Labor Day today? It was yesterday, but that means they should be open. No, it was 9 11. Yeah. Dave, how can I help you? Hey, Dave, this is uh, Jack Carrington calling. Um, I had a uh, little incident uh, yesterday where. Um, my son uh, took some golf clubs out of my garage and um, brought it in and wondering uh, if he brought them by uh, your store over there. As far as trading them in? Yeah, traded them in. Uh, some Ping I-25s. Uh, uh, what is it? The, the, uh, the old tailor-made rocket balls driver. That's uh, the tailor-made rocket balls with a Z. Okay. What kind of grips did you have on them? They were, um, hmm, what kind of grips were they? 
think they were uh, the old Lampkin grips, actually. Okay, let me go over there and see if anything was... Yeah, if you could do it. I mean, this kid just running fucking loose. I, you know, I I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I got him down to a seven, and then, you know, he... You know, I try. I, uh, he got all mad. I want to give him the putt on eighteen. Uh, yeah, if you could check, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, hold on. We believe oh, in game shit, dude. He's hooked. <laughs> find the, the Taylor made a hyper balls driver. <laughs> That's good. Oh, this guy. He has no idea. Oh, should we tell him? Should we tell him? No. No, no, you don't tell me. Like, God damn it. All right, I'm going to call Roger Dunn. Stores, you'll find the latest technology in the industry oh, from the brutal, top name brand. This guy. And we'll never try to sell you on a house brand because we don't have one. Uh, but you're oh, I felt so awkward right there. <laughs> really? Yeah, you're know. over there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Why? Why do you feel awkward? Yeah, you're way over there, yeah. dude. Dude, I felt awkward. I did, you know what I didn't? I didn't block my number. Do you think that's bad? Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely think that's bad. What? Who cares? <laughs> Do I care? This poor guy's looking for these things. <laughs> I-25s. That's a highway in Colorado. He answers back. He's like, yeah, Aristotle, Um, we have... <laughs> I'd be like, no, it's not me. Actually, I don't care. You didn't do any damage. We might do damage on the next couple, but this one is uh, low-key. This is a low-key, entry-level prank. You should ask to talk to the manager after and then be like, that was, uh, this guy, well, he's so helpful. Thank you. Make sure he gets a raise so that at least, you know, there's some, there, he could get some positivity this is out when, of this. This is when the nice guy Stott shows. He's yeah. The what? He, the nice guy Stotts, he's always trying to make it. Like, should we tell him? Or no, so let's tell his manager he should get a raise. Yeah. <laughs> like, he but, feels bad about it, but he's having fun. Yeah, he's so... <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> I, I Like, I always feel bad because I hate wasting people's time. So it's like, how can we waste someone's time but make it, like, at least positive? <laughs> what? The, you're not wasting this guy's time. <laughs> what? He's sitting there... Yeah. Doing fuck all. Maybe There's was, not even any golf. Maybe, it's the day after 9-11, Maybe bro. he was watching highlights or something. <laughs> like, you know, he was doing something that he wanted to do. He's like, we should send him our white PGA shirt. <laughs> By the way, if you're uh, listening to this podcast, we do have merchandise. And bro, this dude's going to come back. This dude's going to come back and he's going to say, yep, yeah, we got him. No. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine I just called out a trade-in. Yeah. Be like, uh, yeah, he stole the he stole the gift card, but can I come get my clubs for free? Can I can I have them back? Wow, he's really looking for him. Either that, or he's just like this fucking idiot, and he's just sitting there. He's like, how long should I w make him wait <laughs> so he thinks that I'm looking for? <laughs> These fucking idiots. They're probably on a podcast right now, and I'll just eat up onto the time. <laughs> We're sitting here having to make fake banner with like the loudest, most aggressive hole. Yeah, but the clip is gonna be good. Oh, oh. oh. restarting. <laughs> <laughs> and there's part of the clip. There's, yeah. oh. All right, so I'm gonna call. I'll good, call. Cu good customer service though. This guy's really searching. Dude, he's looking those for the no lampkin grips. Dude, lampkin grips. Lampkin grips, baby. I had to. I had lampkin grips at one point. Yeah. Yeah. Brown lampkin grips. That's what I should have said. Brown lampkin. <laughs> yeah, I know. Who the fuck has brown lampkin? I, I had brown lampkin. Who the fuck has brown lampkin grips? I did, Mart. And that's okay. Dude, find me the fucking golf All right, club, hang on. We're calling it. <laughs> this is a good time to take a break and uh, pay some <laughs> of our green fees. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Long Drink. Long Drink? Long, long summer, summer, baby. The legend... Of uh, Finland, uh, 1952, 1952, baby. citrus, clean, refreshing, delicious, delicious beverage, 5.5% alcohol, low in sugar, gluten free, a ready to made cocktail honestly, for you. Honestly, if you're on the course and you're drinking anything but long drink, 
That's your own problem, and I have nothing to say to you. I have nothing to say to you. You know why? Because you're probably drinking some bullshit seltzer mm -hmm. and not a real, refreshing, alcoholic beverage. Okay? Make sure you grab a case of long drink. Tell them Country Club adjacent send you. We'll be here. Long drink, long summer, baby. Let's go. I'm calling back. You're calling back? I'm calling back. I think that's what you got to do. I'm calling back. That's fucking bullshit. You don't fucking leave Jack Harrington on the fucking... You do not leave Jack Harrington. Uh, yeah. Did you start 6-7 them? Nope. All right. All right. Dave. Hey, Dave. Uh, this is Jack Harrington. I called. I was uh, left on hold for about 15 minutes. Uh, I called because uh, I'm yeah. trying to see uh, if my son. Correct. What? Uh, yeah, we went I, uh, pre-owned and uh, pre-owned in the store from. Hold on. One said, Tina, I'm talking to the guy. I'm talking. I don't fucking know what he do with him. I'm sorry. Uh, what happened? Yeah, I went through all the pre-owned we have, which is quite extensive. Sorry for the wait there. No uh, worries. No worries. I didn't find anything on the floor or in the back with those uh, types of specs. I didn't find any uh, ping irons. Um, I have a ton of RBZ drivers and um, wood, so it, it would be hard to kind of identify if that was yours or not. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 you you would have saw him. It was a blonde-haired kid named Skyler. He would have came in yesterday. Uh, you know, I don't know if you've never given a fucking kid a putt on 18, but he got all mad with me. and he. I know. I don't know what he did with it. I'm caught. I don't know, Roger. Do you know this guy, Roger? Roger Dunn? Maybe. That's a different company. It's a it's a guy or a company. Oh, it's a company. Roger Dunn's in Santa Ana. It, 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 he's got a house. I could call him maybe. No, it's a business. If you look up Roger Dunn Golf, it's I'll a call. Business. Okay, and maybe maybe he took the clubs there. Is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, would be the other option. Yeah, you haven't seen a Skyler come in there. No, sir. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking no, the problem. time there, bud, big guy. <laughs> my, my, your accent you did like five different accents and they were all bad <laughs> oh my god he literally okay so first off that guy made us wait for 15 minutes he was never calling back i think he knew he knew he knew yeah. and then when you when you finished you know he was very polite very pleasant i think he bought it yeah i think he bought it dude it, if he bought it, if he didn't buy it, he played it off like he bought it pretty well. All right. Well, that was fun. That was really fun. That was good. All right. I'm going to call one. I'm going to call Roger Dunn and say... Did okay. you like the Roger Dunn thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like yeah. where I was like, it's Roger? Yeah. Who's, Ro who's this Roger guy? All right. Um, I really like that. So I'm going to... I guess I'm going to give him one of these voices. And uh, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say my wife, uh, she just bought some... Uh, the tailor made the Bianca, the women tailor made clubs, and she can't hit them. Uh, is there anything y'all can do for me? <laughs> <laughs> Please, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Let's call them not our boys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'll know right away. And um, yeah, but we're gonna have to. You know what the fuck thing is? We have to bleep out who we're calling. Yeah, I feel like. Okay, that's fair. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. The cold. The cold. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Um, so I, my wife, we bought my wife some of the tailor-made Khalifa, the um, the golf club, the women's golf clubs, for mm -hmm. for Christmas and. If I'm being honest, she can't, she can't hit them. And I'm wondering if there's something that we could do about that. If there's something that would be willing to do about that. Uh, because she just can't, she just can't hit them. Okay. I mean, if it's a set that she's having a, a tough time with and it's a little outside of our return policy, we could probably... 
uh, offer some credit for those clubs if she wants to use that towards the purchase of something different. And then she can come by and try some stuff out and we can see what might work better for her. Okay, so she... She's she li- she's she's a little bigger um than most than most women and she doesn't uh really get off the couch. So I'm just wondering if there's something that we could do uh you, you know in terms of making her more motivated to uh hit her clubs. I mean, that sounds like something that we would have to, you know, do between the, the you guys there. But as far as, like, trying to find a set of clubs that would be a little bit better for her, um, you know, we would be able to do that here at the shop. Okay, so you, you don't think that, you know, like, somebody would make a, a, a house call, maybe help her out and show her, you know, how to use the, the, the tailor-made Khalifas any better? No, unfortunately, we don't make any house calls whatsoever. So everything that we do is directly in the store. Okay, so no one would come out and kind of show her what she could do in order to hit him. I mean, she doesn't. She can't walk, so it's 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 tough. It's it's tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just sounds more like you're looking for a uh, like an instructor more so than you know one of the the fitters that we have at the shop. Uh, someone like that can actually go through and do some help figuring out how we can make contact on the ball a little bit better. So what if we, what if we, what if we, I, you know, I feel like a fitter might work if uh, we could get a fitter out here and, you know, make sure that she can, the clubs fit her and that she can, you know, um, you know, finally put on clothes Yeah, so like I was saying, as far as all of our fitting processes that we do, everything is going to be done in-house, so we don't do anything outside of our walls here. Right on. And, and in terms of clothes that might fit her, do you do you have anything that's in a women's, like, 7, 8X, an X, XL? Uh, we would most likely have to special order some product like that from the manufacturer, but as long as we can find one of our manufacturers that offers that size, we can definitely order some in and get it for her if she needs it. Okay, she really likes Puma. She likes Puma a lot, and she like her favorite colors. You know, turquoise. Mm-hmm. So, I'm trying to think, if there's anything else you could help me with today? Are you, do you fit? Are you a fitter? Uh, I no longer fit at the shop. I'm one of the assistants here, so I don't do that anymore. Uh, but we have about 14 guys on staff right now that are available to fit customers as they come by in the shop. But you can fit. You Can you fit? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can, yes. So what if we set something up where you head on out here and fit her up nice? Yeah, like I said, unfortunately, we just don't do anything outside of the store. So everything that we do for fitting are going to be done in the booths that we carry here at the store. All right. Well, I thank you. So, tell I said hi. Thank you. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. All right. I got to go. I yeah. Get. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Why are these staff members so lovely? <laughs> dude, the golf staff is friendly, what bro. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I would be like, okay, get the fuck Uh, off the phone. (laughs) Ah, fuck. That was so funny, bro. No! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The Khalifas. The Khalifas? Oh, man. She can't walk. (laughs) Fuck, that was good, bro. God damn. Oh, man. That's been a long time since I've done one of those. That was great. That worked great. That was good stuff. I don't feel like I don't feel like we that we need to do any more prank phone calls. No more prank phone calls. I feel like we got um we have fun doing that <laughs> and I, but I can't handle the anxiety that I feel <laughs> as it's happening. <laughs> really? I like it. It's funny, but I get so stressed for some reason. Really? I don't know I don't know why. I don't know why. I I like it. I thrive in it. I feel yeah. like you know who would thrive in it? Jake Adams. Jake dude. would thrive. Sucks that we forcibly 
took over the podcast <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he can't yeah. he can't talk for a few months. Oh uh, shit. In a ketamine induced coma. Unbelievable. <sighs> you don't want to do one more? Should we do one more? Should we do one more? Let's each do one more. All right, let's do one more. Let's, we're doing one set more. Set me up with one. I'll set you up with one. Oh shit, dude. That's so fun. It's kind of addicting. <laughs> it's kind of like really addicting. Okay, so I just called Okay, well, let's call the one. Oh, Dude, I... stop <laughs> <laughs> saying the names of these businesses. You're right. Sorry. Oh, fuck. Going. Hey, Mikey, this is uh, Peter. I'm out in the parking lot with the uh, driving range uh, taco simulator uh, day after 9-11 special. The, the problem that I'm wondering is, is how are we supposed to run the electricity through the place in, uh, for, for like the floodlights and the snow machine? Yeah, I'm in your parking lot right now. I don't know if you could see me. It's Peter over here with the driving range taco truck simulator. We got the thing. The problem is I'm running with the snow machines is I cannot find the electricity to run it. Uh... The day after 9-11 special is the driving range simulator with the taco truck. The snow machines are going to start melting. I'm wondering if you look, I'm waving to you out in the parking lot. Can you see me? Uh, I should be in the, the little side, the side little gate next to the Jamba Juice or whatever. the fu It's not a fucking Jamba Juice. What the fuck is this place? It's with the greens and the stuff. They throw it in the bowl. The fucking balls they get in your throat <laughs> when you suck it up. Oh, what the boba? Boba. That's the fucking shit. My little, my little nephew loves that. <laughs> uh, let me look. Let me look. He's looking for you, dude. He's really looking for you. There must be a boba shop near. There is a boba There's shop. A boba I, shop I just called a random boba shop. I just called a random boba shop, and now he absolutely thinks it's real. There's fucking snow everywhere. Help! I'm getting fucking drowned by snow. Are you there? I think he hung up. He hung up. <laughs> <laughs> he hung up. No. That was dude, fun. That was a good one. That was fun. That was a good one, dude. That was good, right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the day after 9-11 special, dude. That's that's when golf shops really make their money. Oh, man. I would say. That was good. That was very good. Um, okay. Last one. You got um, you got an idea? Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. I think what I want to do this time is I'm gonna ask about if they have any golf club flashlights. My wife keeps catching me masturbating, but if I have golf, <laughs> but if, you know, all right, yeah. Hi, hero. Hi, how are you, Roger here. Hi, how are you? This is James. Um, I had a question for you. Now, my wife, she oftentimes catches me, you know, doing my thing. And I'm wondering if you folks carry a uh, the, the the flashlights, the the golf like the golf flashlights. The fl uh, the the fl uh, is it a flashlight? Uh, flashlight? Fl flashlight? Do you have those? I'm not sure what you're talking about, sir. 
the the golf club. It looks like a golf club, but it's a flashlight. And you can use it when you you know, cranking cranking them out. No, we don't have anything like that, unfortunately. The the golf the sometimes they look like a golf ball, maybe like a golf ball flashlight, something. A dark ball? Like the flashlight, like you know when you're using them and you it's you you sliding it up and down. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have anything like that. The good, no golf ball flash. What about like a water bottle flashlight? Like something that. No, no type of flashlights in our store. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> golf ball flashlights. <laughs> Yeah. That, uh, one, that one was le was less good. I didn't. I, I, I you could have kept on that one. I, that I, one was good. I could have kept on it, but then I you I, got you. I, I got it. I was like, you know what? This isn't work. He gets it. He got it too quick. That's the problem. No, I th he asked if it was you talking about glow in the dark golf balls. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. He, he had did. no idea. Yeah, I I just uh, I did that one wasn't. I didn't <sighs> that think voice that one is great. Through. That's that voice good, is good. It's all right. That's a good it's voice. A good, it's a good. It's I can work. Um, damn, that one was less satisfying. That one was less satisfying. I like that bit. That was a good bit. That yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That was a great bit. Well, no, nah, I mean it's it's nothing compared to the day after nine eleven special. <laughs> that guy looked out the window to see if you were out there with the simulator snow machine, but then he hung up. Then he so, knew, yeah. So he knew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. There's fucking snow everywhere. <laughs> All right. Well, fucking think of other podcast topics we could talk about, Alex. I don't know. I'm going to have to cut all this shit out, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're in. You're a guest on this podcast today. No, I mean, well, trying to come up with the pot, the topic for the podcast. No, this okay. is perfect. Alex, bro. how's your game right now? Yeah. Oh, how I, would you say your game is? Horrible. I haven't. I haven't played any golf since I played with Marissa. And you guys didn't play that well. And we played horrible because my shirt was too tight and I couldn't swing. Oh. <laughs> so. you, was it a button down? Yeah, it was yes. a button down uh, off a lot of syrup, whatever. And oh, yep. That, just, that'll hinder your motion. I could only get to about like right here. And then when I got like it just I felt like I couldn't swing. But you looked good. I did look uh, did look good. It's my profile pic. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You did so. look good. I haven't played any. I'm gonna play with my dad and my brother when I go back to Arizona, so I have to hit the range sometime. Hit the range this weekend, right? Yeah. Make sure you stretch. A stretch. Yeah, I got to stretch. The issue is, is like nobody. I don't have really that much people to golf with, especially because I'm so far. Yep. So it's like sometimes it does get a little boring when I just keep <laughs> going to the range, and I don't want to like go play by myself. Why? That's way better than going to the range by yourself. Cause you can like it's such a better, more relaxing experience, and you can sit out there with like and hit three shots. But here's the thing: I would argue is that you're most likely gonna get paired up with somebody, and that's it's, sometimes it's great. Sometimes yeah. it works out really well in your favor, but then other times it's like, God damn it! Ninety percent of the time, it works out in not your favor. Yeah. yeah, I go, I go to this little par three over where I live, and mm -hmm. it's cool. But it's just I hate par threes. It's so hard. I yeah. Yeah. I hate par threes too. I want to play real golf. Yeah. Every time I play, I want to play real golf. But. Yeah. Anytime I bring Stotts to Weddington, within two holes, she's like, "I fucking hate this place." Yeah. And I'm like, "I don't know how he ever comes back." Here. Yeah. I mean, I get invited yeah. all the time by you guys to go golf. So. Like, I mean, you know what I do every day. I don't go golf. Yeah. I don't either. Yeah. You want to play Apex Legends with me? Not at all. So then, then don't fucking hit me up. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> What'd you say? So you barely text back, anyways. I don't text. I well, this you know, this last week yeah. I had a loss in the family. Yeah, though, but so. before that, still, you don't really text back, anyways. But you did text back about that Draco album. Hey, shit's lit. Yeah. Did he drop a new one? Well, it's, oh, it's posthumous. A, it was a deluxe album from him and his brother when they dropped the album lot two years ago. Um, it was like ten new tracks, and like bangers, but. I'm not a big fan of his brother, so that's like his actual blood brother. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Not a not a big fan of. That. Scott's, what about you and music? I feel like you don't talk about it as much on here as you should. Yeah, I mean you're right. I don't. Um, like, do you have new songs coming out? Or I like, do. I, that's the thing. I'm I'm in a weird place with with my music in terms of like I'm sitting on a cache of stuff. 
Mm. You know, I have I have like I would say like eight releasable songs that I'm like sitting on that are like, hey, we could get this out. That's why I don't talk about it is because it's not coming out yet. Mm-hmm. So my problem that I find is trying to decide which one I should put out first, like which one's going to have the best impact right when I put it out, mm. and then what would follow that out. And I, it, I'm definitely in my own head about it. Is it 100%. more like you are not allowed to put it out or you get to just choose? I have to choose. Uh, and then one thing, so it's like weird in that business how it works because the stuff that you puts out fuels your touring and everything, mm. um, but also having like a cache of unreleased songs is is awesome because then after your sets and everything people are like yo i gotta get that blah 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 and you're in you know it's it's your own so you know no one else has it no one else is listening to it no one else is playing it so like th- it, they're more inclined to like yeah. come see you come see you pay attention and see when you're gonna release it and if you never release it then they're just then yeah. they're always there and they can only see it in in your set but don't so, you all uh, don't yeah. you have to have like but you have to you have to have the cash uh, of release shit. Yeah, exactly. It, you have to have the the the, the numbers sco- there, yeah, yeah, so that before. people can go I get, and yeah. be like, oh yeah, d- here's the song. And you do, do you do, um, do you plan on when you want to release it? Do you plan on doing like video drops with each of these songs? That's definitely because the the L A the well. L A shit and that I feel like that L A song is still growing. Like I just saw it got remixed. Yeah. Did you see that? No, I didn't actually. I didn't really it got remixed. But bro, it got remixed. It came on on my stream the other night. It shit was lit, bro. Really? The remix was jumping, bro. I wonder who did it. Uh, I literally have no idea. Bro, I swear to God. It, um, I'm trying to think. Like, I think they sped it up a little bit. Okay. They definitely made it more um, like my vibe, like the housey, yeah, yeah, tech yeah. housey vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, I was like, oh, it was like groovy. Like more, Ooh. more groovy. I wonder who. I wonder who did it because uh, I sent the stems to a few different people that were interested in doing it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, maybe someone finished it or or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 <clears throat> such a it's such a weird thing. And and plus, you know, for me with Country Club adjacent and you know my uh, my cartoon that nobody knows about. Mm. Um, I it's hard to like really dedicate all that energy because you know it i feel like you got to respect the craft to yeah. an extent in terms of like hey i want to i want to make shit that's actually different and fun and cool mm-hmm. um and it's hard to like just sit down and focus on that when i have these other things that are more in my opinion more pressing stuff that i've been working on longer that i am putting forward first yeah yeah and i I feel like the the bigger cash you have of the unreleased songs, it's better. So like when you go play shows yes. and people hear it, they're like, "Damn, where do I get that?" And they go to you, and you're like, "Oh, it's unreleased." Yep. So there's that, and 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 I will release music. I you know, like I said, there, there's I have shit that I'm very proud of that's ready to go. Um, it's just it's just actually doing it, putting together the campaign, yeah. making the uh, the uh, the visual aspect of it. Yeah. Um, it's definitely. It's definitely overwhelming. Yeah. And Music for now, like totally like different. you said, you just play it. Yeah. Because then people are like, oh, where do I hear this or where do I get it? And you're just like, it's unreleased. Exactly. Yeah. And it's cool, too, because people know. People know what's like, what's your stuff versus yeah. what's not your stuff. Because, you know, I have a, a ton of music that, you know, other producers send me and stuff like, hey, use yeah. this in your sets and whatnot. Um, and then, and people rarely ask like, hey, what's that one song? But they'll hear one of my songs, whether it's because they recognize my voice or that it's silly and funny, uh, and they'll be like, hey, what was that one song that was like yeah. the blah, blah, blah? And it's better because it's your own. Yeah. So when you do play and they're like, oh, I haven't heard this before, they come exactly. to you, they're like, where do I get this? You're like, it's unreleased. Yep. Yep. So I have uh, I have that. Um, but it's just this weekend I'm going to be at, well, if you're hearing this, it's going to be Sunday, so I will have been at or might be currently at uh nocturnal wonderland i'm i'm playing the camp og after party and i don't i've just i found my my niche in like these after party events where it's just like you know the music that i play is 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 different than what everyone else is everyone else plays because everyone tries to find like one specific vibe and that's just what they roll with and for me it's like 
you know, I stay within a certain realm of vibe, but I, within that realm, I'm like jumping over here to, to disco for a little yeah. bit. And then I'll slide back over here to like something, a sing along that you might recognize. That's, that's a, an edit that you've never heard before. Yeah. And then I'll come back over here to like very prominent tech house or I'll, if I'm, if I want to pick it up a little bit, we'll go to a little techno area over here. Um, but regardless, it's I'm always jumping around, yeah. keeping the crowd really engaged. Um, yeah, versus been to your shows, it's sick. Thanks. And yeah, like I feel like what you're saying because you mix. I feel like you mix a bunch of styles yeah. too, and it's perfect because like when you play them at a show and people are like, "Oh, I want to hear that song. Where do I get it?" And you're like, "It's unreleased." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yeah. So it's. It's fun, dude. That only took five times for you to catch on to that. Dude, so shut the fuck <laughs> up, dude. You're, you're the worst. Bro. And Mark, Mark, you're going on tour this week. I will be going on tour uh, in Canada. I'll be in Vancouver, Canada. By Actually, the time they hear this, it's too late. Yeah. By the time they hear this, it's too late, so it's been fun. Um, <laughs> How was Canada? <laughs> tickets didn't do that well. No, but like... <laughs> uh, tickets didn't do as well as I thought. Um, having... Telling people I've been going to Edmonton for the last two months when really I've been going to Vancouver. <laughs> um, but you know, uh, you're learning as a new headliner, um, going to booking clubs that you don't know you're at actually and paying for plane tickets that you're actually not going to hop on and you didn't buy the insured tickets. So you oh. Um, basically a big wash, uh, going on t tour then. And then, um, I'm taping for comedy central in October, Ooh, early what are you October taping for them. What are you taping for them? Um, a, uh, a gay pornography. Um, Ooh. no, I'm taking, taping like a seven minute set. Um, nice for uh, digital for digital, which is like, you know, absolutely nothing. Hey, um, hey, you get some high quality content. And then now when people bring you up at clubs, they can be like, you've seen him on Comedy, comedy Dynamics Central. And comedy Central. Don't say Comedy Dynamics. I've never done Comedy Dynamics, bro. That's oh. crazy, bro. Oh, I don't have fuck. I don't have Ice House credits. Bro. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, you've seen him on Don't Tell Comedy and Comedy there Central. There you go. Give it up for the man, the man, the legend, Mark Small Hoover. Uh, don't say the last. Don't dox me, bro. Mark Smile! Yeah, there you go. Uh, and then back on tour with Bert um, in October, um, later, late October. Uh, late Aki? Going to be going through the Midwest, uh, Nashville, Tennessee, Alabama, Michigan, Wisconsin, back to Canada, uh, back to Br British Columbia. To BC? Sell. And I would, uh, I'm assuming tickets are going to be a little better there. Uh, because <laughs> you would assume i would assume but don't ever assume i'm excited to do a lot of comedy bro i'm excited to um to work a lot of weekends um and start putting out some more uh clips and shit good it's just like I, I it's like i have so much fun when i do comedy and like i feel so good and then the next day i'm just depressed and it's like oh yeah i don't have a show tonight well it's because it's 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 because you ride the highest high yeah and then like and then the next day you've got nothing and nothing like, damn what's the point yeah Which it's is, like oh i get to make a meme yeah oh, it's fucking sick dude yep it's it's crazy how in in like a live performer's life the highs and lows because the highs are like so high and then the lows are just like the opposite. Damn, you I'm shit your pants. I just shit my pants, God guys. Damn it. That's my bad, bro. Someone knocked on the door. Is that how long a podcast should be? Because I shit my pants, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Last quick question: Who wins with the group with Griff and Jake? They're playing out. There. Oh yeah, because they're because they're not actually. Um, in they, a, both they both lose. Oh, they both lose. They come God. back, and Jake goes. I, I need some time apart from Griff. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Wait. You know what bums me out is that they just go on golf trips without us. Uh, why would it bum you out? It's nothing new. I wanted to go. <laughs> I just I always wanted to go. Well, guess what, Stotts? I never get to go. We have to hold it down and do the actual work on this podcast. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, I wanted to go. The two I fucking potheads. <laughs> right? Like, it's crazy. Like, we should be the ones. Yeah, doesn't doesn't make sense. We... <laughs> But I uh, hope you liked this episode of Country Club Adjacent. Mm -hmm. um, it was a little short, but we did something different. Um, we're coming off a long week. Uh, we got a lot of fun stuff coming up. We got a couple of great matches that just went up on YouTube. That's right. The sober matches. Um, please, guys. 
give our YouTube a shout. Whatever right. you can do, tell your friends, do a share. Um, we got a lot of subscribers, but a lot of those subscribers came from our shorts channel. Yeah, isn't that wild? So like, people don't get it, but it's you. You get algorithmically categorized based on your channel. Exactly. We got our shorts crack on YouTube, and so that brought in a lot of subscribers, which means they're in our YouTube shorts algorithm. But that means that they don't see our long form videos, which are, you know we put hours and hours of effort into, and they're yeah. really fucking funny and they're really good. They are really good. Um, so make sure you go there and watch those on top of our shorts, so that it monetizes better, gets the algorithm flowing for our longer form videos. And you know, I see. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's bullshit, bro. It's like it's like what bullshit. It's like when your dad got fired in two thousand eight for being overqualified. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like yeah. we put out too much content to where the algorithm doesn't even know what to fucking they don't do know with us. Do with us and and so it's it's very it's very frustrating and i wish that it was balanced it was yeah. more balanced maybe we can have mr beast mr. on the beast. podcast and he could, at he, could, boy. he could help us out he could yeah but yeah thank you so much for tuning in guys uh cca.shop for our merch we just dropped some fresh fire shit almost sold out yep. get your stuff right there as always twitch.tv slash mark smalls live if you want to come see me every day live streaming on twitch and uh, we love you. We love you. Bye. Bye. Come fucking catch these hands, yep. bro.